Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, so it's me, Emily. Um, sorry this video is a little bit late. Um, I am, this is my first week of college. I moved to Minnesota. Um, my third day of classes right now. So, um, you can probably hear the fan in my back, my fan in the background. Um, my dorm does not have air conditioning and it's really killer. Um, there's like sweat running down my face all the time and <laughs> which is like why I don't have makeup on because you, it's a waste to put it on it's off in like five minutes anyway um, I got to pick this week's topic and I chose um, how we tell people we're bipolar and um, who we share it with Okay, um, I thought this would be a good topic because I am starting college right now, and um, there are a lot of things, you know, you learn about people, and things that you tell people about yourself, and I'm pretty open about my mental illnesses and struggles, but um, I don't want to come out and say, hey, I'm bipolar, or, you know, with any of my other disorders, I don't want to be, like, the girl with the issues. That's kind of, um, how I see that. Um, I'm not saying it's a weakness or anything, but that's just not the first thing I want people to know about me, you know? Um, the people who know, um, are my family and, um, a few friends. Uh, the people I worked with knew. Um, now, I guess my academic writing professor knows because I wrote about it. Um, other than that, um, no one else here really knows, I don't think. Um, but uh, that could be because I haven't met a lot of people yet. Um, in my mental health myth versus fact class, um, I guess some people know because um, I was, we get to share our experiences and things, and I get to say, you know, I know this is a fact because I've experienced it, you know? Um, how I tell it, um, you know, I, like I said, I'm very open. And it's not really a subject that's hard for me to talk about most of the time. Um, a lot of people will come into my room and see my For Dummies books, you know, my Bipolar For Dummies, Eating Disorder For Dummies, and they'll ask me about it. And, you know, right now it's easy because I can be like, oh, I'm a psych major. But, um, you know, it's really not that difficult to slip into a conversation. I mean, and most people are like, oh, okay. You know, most people are surprised because they're like, oh, you seem fine, you seem really normal. Like, they expect people to be incredibly moody and, like, just switch on a dime, which is not how it works, usually. Um, so, uh, for me, telling people is actually pretty easy. Um, talking about it, like, in depth, like, it's easy to just be like, oh, you know, well, I have bipolar disorder. But to talk about it... Um, is actually a different story because, you know, it doesn't end with, oh, okay, it, people ask questions, and I think that's the most difficult part um, because people are curious, and that's fine. I don't mind answering questions, but, um, you know, some of the things are embarrassing, like, how did you find out, or, like, oh, have you ever been uh, in treatment for that, or are you crazy, or, you know, that's just, it's kind of hard to deal with that just be, I mean I'm used to it and people some people don't know you know proper etiquette or the way to approach it but um, I, I think that's the hardest part is dealing with other people's reactions to it um, like telling someone that I'm bipolar for me isn't hard them processing it is hard um, so who I'm going to share it with, um, I don't plan to keep it, uh, like a secret. I don't think it's going to be something that, um, everybody knows me for. 
because even in high school, like, um, like I said, some of my friends knew and everyone knew that I had like issues because I've been having anxiety and depression since I was 10, but like the bipolar factor, um, didn't come in until like junior-ish year. And so even then, like my friends are great, but the friends that I have at home are not fantastic about, um, being there for me because uh, it's not that they're bad, but, um, they're very busy and they don't observe me and they perceive me as being fine. And my coworkers actually, um, were the people who were, pulled me aside and were like, Hey, are you okay? You know, I'm noticing that you're acting this way. And so it's really good to share it with people who um, are close to you and can keep an eye on you because you really want to know when you're slipping because sometimes you don't recognize it and somebody does and if they can pull you aside and say hey um, I think you might need a little extra help or you know I'll take you to the doctor or if you need to talk about something you know talk to me because that could be the difference between um, being absolutely fine and being hospitalized. Um, so I think it's very important to share um, for people that care about you. And um, don't look at it as like, oh, I don't want to share because then they'll be babysitting me. Because that's not what it is. You know, this is not what it is. Um, I will share it with my mental health classes and my psychology classes, I assume that's going to come up and I'll be like, well, I have experience with this, you know? So for me, it's not really difficult. And I think that that comes from um, just dealing with stuff for so long, you know? And so for me, it's not difficult, usually. Um, so I don't know. Uh, for college, we'll see how it goes. Um, I haven't told many people yet, uh, so yeah, um, I hope that everybody can kind of get to the point where I'm at, where it's not paralyzing to tell somebody um, something about you that isn't necessarily your fault. Like, I hope that you can get to the point where it's like saying, hey, um, I've got diabetes, if I pass out take me to the hospital. You know what I mean? Because that's kind of, it's just as serious as that. So...